Hi everyone, I'm going to tell you about my new extension called Snippo. It is a brand new way to make video notes. Let's see it in action. Firstly, you should install a new extension. Snippo is available for Chrome and Edge. Supporting other browsers will be soon. So let's open any video on YouTube and we see the Make Notes button under any video. Snippo supports only YouTube. However, it will support any platforms like Learning Courses, Udemy, or any other. Let me know what integration you want to see next. Click here and we will see Split Mode. YouTube is on the left and Notion is on the right. Snippo supports only Notion. However, let me know what integration you want to see next. Evernote, Obsidian, RimNote, or something else. We should authorize, select Workplace, and click Select Page. Next, you can create a new page or set access to the existing one. Click Allow, and we get the video note template in Notion. The title, link, channel, and chapters sync automatically. Next, we see extension buttons on the Notion side with keyboard shortcuts. Click here for the insert timestamp. The timestamp is clickable on the Notion side too. Click to make a screenshot from the video. Other options for video control are pause, seek backward and forward, and speed up and down the video. It works seamlessly, so when we click on time, we can move to video, even if our video tab is closed. Next, we can open any video with a playlist. And now we get notebook indexes in Notion. Any fields are sortable and filtered. Let's change the sort on the title or set new field content. Also, you can add the view, for example, a gallery, and set card preview as a page cover. And you see an excellent playlist view. Another view is a board so you can change the status of the video. Back to the table view. You can see the finished checkbox to mark the video. Also, Notion has a powerful search. You should pin the extension and see your latest notes index in the pop-up for videos and playlists. Open it easily with one click. Also, you can click Manage Extension and Keyboard Shortcuts. There you can change shortcuts. If not set, it will be by default. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I want to make my extension the best it possibly can be. If you have any suggestions, please write them below in the comments.